the cable industry's biggest conference is taking place in Chicago this week. It's a chance for big wigs like the head of Scripps Network to strut their stuff. Scripps, by the way, is home of the Food Network, and the recipe behind its success includes a stable of homegrown celebrity chefs. John Ehrlichman, you're out there in Chicago. I think you have been speaking with the CEO. Uh, dare I ask, what is cooking? <laughs> Ouch, ouch, Adam. Yes, I did speak with the CEO, and look, there are a lot of cable innovators that make their way to this conference every year. Ken Lowe is a great example, the guy who introduced Americans to HGTV. And the Food Network really didn't get cooking, uh, no pun intended, until Scripps took full control. Past few years, people not necessarily buy new homes or buying expensive food, but what Ken Lowe says the celebrities on his channels do is teach people you can have a good time and not spend a lot of dough. Have a listen. A lot of our talent uh, come from teaching backgrounds. Uh, and I think whether it's teaching in the kitchen, in the home category, teaching someone how to design, it's that ability to impart information in a sincere, sometimes fun, entertaining way, that's really a key. And uh, that credibility is, is, I think, what makes our network so strong. And Adam, we also had a little bit of fun with Ken Lowe asked him to describe some of the big Food Network stars. Here's what he said. Rachel Ray, America's food sweetheart, Paula Dean, queen of the food parties, and Bobby Flay, the industry standard. But you know, all these people owe a lot of their success to Food Network, but it works both ways, of course. Food Network needs the big celebs to keep people watching. Well, and of course, it's also about the money. What are some of the analysts saying about the possibility of a takeout? Well, one of the issues with this company is they have a great presence here in the U.S. Some have argued they've been slow in the international market. Let's hear what he said about possibly selling out to somebody who could help them overseas. They were always flattered that people uh, look at us as a possible good acquisition. Uh, and I also remind them that we're not for sale. There's not a for sale sign in the front yard. Uh, and we're doing quite well. We like the fact that we're agile. Uh, we've been able to create content on a very economical basis. So look for them to do more partnerships overseas.